Hi, Chuck here, and I want to show you some Hot Wheels. We're fresh off the Legends Tour weekend where I got these X-Men Hot Wheels and this six-pack of Legends cars. But, as I've been saying, I want to show you the old stuff. But first, I want to get caught up on the new stuff, which is why I want to show you the latest of the 2023s I have here. I have 24 new colors plus 37 uh, new cars added to the collection. Since my last video where I showed cars number 1 through 135 minus the 6 treasure hunts I didn't have. So let's take a look at these cars. Alright, here at uh, number 2, the 87 Ford Cogsworth, which was previously out in red. A lot of people like this car. I, I guess it was sold in Australia and in America, but here we have a second and third color, yellow and silver. Pretty sweet. All right, number five, Dimitri Villasi in a second color, a kind of a turquoise type green. All right, next, number 36, custom 11 Camaro. Previously out in black, now in white. I don't know which one of these I like better. That's pretty striking. I like it. All right, number 40. Rally Spectacle. Previously out in black, now out in white. That's pretty sweet. Number 42. Skate Grom. The Tony Hawk one is out in pink. Now it's out in green. Uh, pretty wild, all right. Number 43, Teed Off 2. This is a Hot Wheels fantasy vehicle, a golf cart with a super large blown V8 engine on the front that pretty much obstructs everything. Crazy car was out in green. Now it's out in white. All right, next, number 46 was out in blue, now out in red. So at the 2013 Nissan Z, JDM people go crazy for that. I like that, all right. Uh, number 47, Nissan Maximum Drift Car, out in blue now. Previously in red. I think I like the blue one better. I don't know. Car number 48. Gotta go. Out in yellow. Now in orange. I know orange is a hard color to pull off well with the Hot Wheel. I, I definitely like the yellow one better. Uh, this one's ugly, but there it is. 48. All right, number 49, Cool Kabam. A lot of people really love this casting. Previously out in yellow and Zamac in my collection. Now we got this as, well, black, dark gray, light charcoal. I don't know. A light black with white wheels. This is pretty sweet. I, th I think I kind of like this one the best out of the three so far. All right, collector number 55. Batman Forever. New this year. It's a pretty cool car. It's fenders, all those louvers, the big fins and stuff. I like it very much. Originally out in black. Now in a, I guess this is a light black. Maybe a gray. Not, not quite silver, but it's uh, pretty neat. I like this car. Collector number 55. There's the second color. Uh, Lighter version of black, I guess. All right. Collector number 56. Oh, th this one came out last year. This is the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1998 Pro Street Thunderbird. I think it was pink last year. I don't know. Came out in white this year. I have a Zamac version of it also and in black. In gold, I don't know. 
I think I like the white one best, but there we go. This is a third color for this, white, zamic, and black. All right, number 58. Brick in delivery, uh, Mega Blocks, uh, Hot Wheel, which Mega Blocks is Hot Wheels versions of Legos. And they've had some cars in recent years that are, are well, Mega Blocks, Hot Wheel combinations. This was out in green, now it's out in yellow. So if you're into Mega Blocks, you'll be glad to see that. All right, number uh, 59 Roller Toaster. Hot Wheel Fantasy Vehicle, basically a uh, uh, toaster on wheels. All right. Previously out in red, now in green, you know. This is the kind of car that a kid will play with and remember for all his life. So red and green for that this year, all right. 59, all right, next, number 60. One of my all-time favorites, the Bone Shaker. Now out in red. Previously out in black, I know this year at the Legends Tours they had a black painted version. Not the same as, not the same pictures on it or whatever as, as the uh, Hot Wheel one, collector number 60. But um, I think I kind of like the black one better than the red, but they're both pretty cool. It's a bone shaker, what can you say? Gotta have it. All right, next. 62 Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300 Originally out in brown this year now out in a light blue It's a big utility truck. I kind of like this one. It, it, it's realistic I think the brown one is probably more realistic than the light blue one, but uh, yeah, I like them both All right number 64 Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect Call this the Detroit car because it has a D on it. It's not a, a, a Gothic Eng or Old English D like uh, the Detroit Tigers use. But it is a D and it does have a tiger on the side of it. Previously out in white. Now it's like this kind of sick green or something. I don't know. Definitely like the white one better. But there is a second color of that. All right. Number 66. Second color for this year, I know last year was out in several colors. Purple, there was a Super Treasure Hunt variation of it. There was a light blue one from Best Buy. Came out in Hot Wheel Blue this year, and now it's in white with orange. This is nice. I like the white one, but I definitely like the Hot Wheel Blue one better. All right, next we have number 71, Diora 3. Previously out in blue, now it's in orange. Now I said orange is a hard color to do. I mean, that, that that's very attractive for a small child. That turquoise, bright yellow, and orange. It's a bright, grab your attention type vehicle. But um, I definitely like the blue one better. Definitely. All right, number seventy-two. Pangea Zonda R. Came out first in white, now in blue. Not a lot of detail, but a very nice, sweet car. I don't know which one I like better. Maybe the white one? I don't know. It's out in blue now, too, so that's cool. All right. Number 73, Twin Induction. Previously out in kind of a weird-looking turquoise color. Kind of kind of looked like... But like you got sick or something? I don't know. This is a light gray. This is, is not really a happy or favorable color, but it's I like this better better than the, the, the greenish turquoise ones I was previously out in. Well, there's a second color for that. Alright, number 97, Lucid Air, which I assume is a real car that they made a model of. It's it's far too sedate for anything the Hot Wheel uh, designers dreamed up. Previously out in gold, which has been everywhere, it's pretty nice. I like it. Very real, realistic looking car. And now in black. I think I like the black one better. 
All right, and one more color change. Uh, number 103, the Batmobile. Of course, was in dark black, and now it's, uh, I guess, light black, gray or something. Definitely not silver. It's, uh, I don't know, a gray or light black. It's a uh, second shade variation of that car. All right, and one more here. I've got uh, number 111, one of the treasure hunts I was missing in my... Uh, Previous video of the 2023 cars, one of the six treasure hunts. I've gotten uh, well, two of them since then, but I was lucky enough to find two of these at the Dollar Tree, no less. Anyways, okay, on to the new additions to the collector count. All right, for new additions to my collector numbers, here is 136 Solar Reflex in blue. It's a model of something might really been made. Hot Wheels Metro or something. Earth Day for 2022. So this is the uh, 2023 Hot Wheels Earth Day Celebration Hot Wheel. You collect special event cars. Uh, this could be one for that. That makes this potentially a significant collector item. All right. Next. Number 137, Batmobile. In a dark red with a red motif. You know, usually the Batmobiles are, are black or gray or something. Very dark colored, but, but this is nice. This is a sweet Batmobile in a, in a red motif. I like it very much. Cool. All right, number 138, X34 Land Speeder. Hot Wheel screen time. I'm going to have to pull out the other ones and see if there's any variation in this from the last few years. I know this car has come out pretty much every year for the last two or three years. And uh, for the past couple years, there wasn't any variation in it. But I don't know. That'll be another show. I have to go look. But uh, there it is. We have the, the Star Wars Land Speeder again. Number 138 for 2023. All right, 139, Hot Wheel Dream Garage, the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage in gold. I know, I was so jealous. My nephew found a super treasure hunt variation of this car. This is one of the real cars they had at the Legends Tour. It's been there for the past few years. Of course, it doesn't have the wild Hot Wheels tampo on the side, but still, I, I have... Numerous variations of this car, and this is one I always appreciate seeing. And, uh, well, a super treasure would be nice to have, but this is one of those, they do it a lot where, where the cars come out and they look really, really good, like it should be a treasure hunt because it's so awesome looking. And then they put out a super treasure hunt variation of it that's even better. It drives you crazy, but uh, I'm happy to have this one. Haven't seen a lot of them out there yet, so it might be one of the more rare ones to get, but... um. There's number 139, the Gas Monkey Corvette. All right, number 140, Mustang NHRA Funny Car. I haven't seen this car for a while. It's in purple with bright tampos on it. Very nice. I like that very much. That's 140. All right. Uh, 141. This is a new one for 2023. Honda CB750 Cafe. It's a motorcycle. And they've had a lot more motorcycles coming out lately. I know back in the beginning, there was originally the Rumblers. Those were the best. Then they did, in, in the teens, they did put out some motorcycles with riders on them. But uh, they keep coming out with more, and that's a new one. Uh, I expect to see another color variation this year. Wouldn't surprise me at all. All right. Number 142. Hot Wheel Art Cars in a checkerboard. Kind of reminds me of the Partridge family. 72, uh, 72 Ford Ranchero. It's a nice casting. I like it. It's a pretty busy tempo on this one. Alright, so it's 142. 
143, new for 2023, another uh, Hot Wheels Fantasy vehicle, Baja Bison T5. Looking cross between a heavyweight and an off road monster truck or an Unamog or something. That's what, plastic spare tires in the back or something? Looks like a pretty impressive wild vehicle. A lot of kids are gonna think about this one for years. That's a that's a pretty wild vehicle. I, I kind of like it. All right, next number one forty four, the Fiat five hundred E in a, a light turquoise color. It's a nice little car. It's been popular lately. It's uh, it's nice. I I very much like that. All right. 147 Mazda Repo, little pickup truck in turquoise, a light turquoise as opposed to that Fiat was a dark turquoise. It's all right, I like that. All right, 148 88 Honda CRX. Oh, yeah, the JDM guys will go crazy for this. We got a black bottom, which is just a little. Little orange and red tampo there. It's nice work on that. Lightly smoked windows, red interior, detailed rear end. That's a very nice variation of this car. I like that. Honda Civic, number 148. All right, 149. Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Factory Fresh Series in green. This is the Porsche sedan, a four-door car. It's pretty nice. I like it. Kind of bright for a family color, but for a Hot Wheel, that's fine. Bright green Porsche, I'll take that anytime. All right, next. Number 150. New for 2023. 89 Mercedes-Benz 350-SCC-AMG. Oh, you gotta love it. A new Mercedes in black for the first time out. Silver tampo details on the front and rear details. You know, usually the first edition of the car is one of the most valuable ones when it comes to resale for, you know, collectors and stuff, which may make this a rather valuable variation, but it's a, you gotta love it. It's a Mercedes sedan, you know, it's what the fat cats drive around in. I love it. That is a sweet car. All right, let's see what's next here. All right, continuing on here, we have number 151, 81 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Looks like, like the car the cops use in all the police shows, but this is solid blue, little black tempo on the top there. Nothing on the back, but nice details on the side. That That is a, that is a very nice car. I like that very much for 151. All right, 152, 84 Audi Sport Quattro. I know, I think this came out in a Super Treasure Hunt last year. I know there's a couple different color variations. Nice detailed front end, side tempo. Nothing on the rear, but, but still very realistic, very nice. Sweet Hot Wheel right there at 152. All right, 153, new for 2023. This is another one of those tune cars, as you can see by the type. This is the uh, 70 Dodge Charger. These are you know, kind of ridiculous cartooning cars, but, but that's the Dodge Charger with the blown engine, kind of like in the Fast and Furious, black with uh, that super huge... Uh, uh, bot, or, uh, capsule there on the top the the top you know it's it's not i kind of like this one if you're into tone cars you're gonna love this one i'm not really into them but i i kind of really like this one all right next 154 fast and furious recognition on this corvette grand sport roadster in silver Seems like I've seen this car in silver before. Nice detailed rear end there. I don't know, but I know 
This is one of those old Corvettes that I always like to pick up. Uh, anytime it comes out, I want to grab one of these for my collection. Fast and Furious, number 154. All right. 155. This car was new last year. Glory Chaser. Came out in a couple colors. Here it is in, in the light blue with orange. The, the Golf Racing Livery uh, Tampos on it. This is sweet. I like this. I like this car very much. Just came out last year, and uh, I like it. This is a nice variation of it. I like it very much. And, and just from the fact that it has the golf logos on it, I think it might be one of the more rare ones and more collectible ones this year. We'll see. Time will tell. All right. Uh, number 156. BMW i8 Roadster. I'm not that familiar with BMWs or this car, but it has a BMW front end, open top, red interior, black smoke windows, nice detailed tampo on the back. Number 156, this is a very nice car. I like it. I like it very much. 157, Cloak and Dagger. I think I liked this most when it came out in the Halloween series. Very, very wildly decorated. A lot of busy work there. It's kind of Hot Wheel art cars, all the skulls. It still is kind of, kind of Halloween-y. Pretty neat. I like it. That's 157. Uh, 158. Jaguar I-Pace E Trophy. Hot Wheel Green Speed, so th this must be a Jaguar electric car. Black, nothing on the front end. Blue tampos on it. Looks pretty nice. White and blue tampos, blacked out. That, that looks like a nice, fast Jaguar. I like it. All right, number uh, 159, new for 2023. Hot Wheel 4 track. Hot Wheel 55 race team. It's a Indy racer. Black and blue and orange. Brand new for 2023. I, I kind of like that. Super huge airfoil on it, but it, it's a nice looking Indy car. All right, next, 160. Another new one for 2023. Honda Super Cub Custom. Look, it's it's like a, a little moped with a milk crate on the back end, but it's just a big box, delivery box or something. I don't know. As I was saying, they've been putting out a lot more motorcycles recently, so we welcome this to the collection. Maybe they'll put out some soon again with riders on them, too. But uh, there you have it, a new one for 2023, collector number 160. Uh, 162, Cloud Cutter in green this time. I believe this has been out a few times. Uh, I think it was out last year. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, that's a nice, sweet-looking car. It, lo it looks fast. I, I, I like it very much. Very, very much. Nice. All right. 163. 60 anniversary -o. Lamborghini CN FKP 37 Hot Wheel Exotics. I know I've often said it's hard to do a good orange car, but if you can, this is it. It is a Lamborghini, bright orange, bright, sweet looking, very fast supercar. Oh, yeah, I like that. Lamborghini and orange. Enjoy that. All right, here at number 172, Honda Civic Custom. Another treat for the JDM lovers out there. White, black. It's not a new casting. That's pretty sweet. I like that. It's a very nice car. 172, all right. Uh, next, we jump up to 177. 
Porsche 911 GTS in red, Hot Wheel Exotics, black tampo on top, detail on the back, golden wheels. Oh, I just gotta love a Porsche, that's nice, a new red Porsche, can't beat that. All right, another new one for 2023 at collector number 178, the Celero GT. I don't, I don't know. I, I'd hazard to guess that this is a fantasy car. This might be something real that they put out. I really don't know. Looks like a Le Mans type car. Pretty nice, sweet. That is the first edition of this casting right there, so... There you have it. Perfect for Hot Wheel collectors. All right, next. Uh, 179, this is a relatively new casting. Lightning Bug, I think it came out two or three years ago. Hot Wheel Resco, you, it's, it's got a green see-through body, orange tampo on it, orange chassis. I don't know what kind of rescue vehicle this would be, but it's, uh... I think it was an electric vehicle before or something. I don't know. It's a, a brightly colored, uh, unique casting. All right, that's 179. Next. Uh, we jump up, uh, to, oh, we jump back down to 165. Fast Felon. Kind of a plum color. I remember that this came out on a treasure hunt one Easter time. This is a... Uh, Pretty nice, but, uh, all right, that's good. I like that. 65. All right, sorry, got a bit out of order there, but I'm got it corrected now. After 165 comes number 166, 71 Plymouth GTX in orange. And I know I've said I, it, it's hard to do orange right, but this is definitely right. This car is sweet. I remember the GTXs, the, these, uh, the Michigan State Police use them all the time. I remember that front end. This is a very nice, powerful muscle car, and I like it very much in orange. At number 166. All right, now number uh, 167, 82 Toyota Supra. Here's another one for you JDM collectors. Black and red, not much Tampa work, just stripe on the side, not much else, but a uh, Toyota Supra, that's nice, and that's a uh, 167, alright, 168, a Hot Wheels Fantasy Vehicle, Mad Splash, a uh, hydroplane car riding on a wave with clear wheels, it's uh, one of those crazy Hot Wheel things. And that's 168. All right, 169. Batman, the animated series, Batmobile in purple. How sweet is this? A purple Batmobile? You don't see that very often. Usually they're black or dark gray or something. I like this one very much, and, and it's purple. You gotta love it. A purple Batmobile at 169. Woo hoo! All right, 170. Or 171, rather. Rock and Railer. Kind of like, like a an old school dragster, but they, okay, it has, it's a new one for 2023 in the special features. See, okay, there the. The motor tips back and forth as it rolls, so that's kind of a goofy quirk to put in it, but, uh, hey, a Hot Wheels Fantasy vehicle, it's a dragster, red and white, very striking colors, I don't know about the engine rocking, but, well, what the heck, they, I mean, real dragsters do bounce around a lot when they rev up, so why not have the engine rocking, and that's okay, all right. And now that was uh, uh, 171, and we've already looked at 172, 77, and 78. So to finish off the new cars here, we have uh, 180, 84 Pontiac Firebird. 
Blue and white, very clean, nice looking car. Not much Tampa work on it, just on the sides, but still, I like that. I like that very much. This is, uh, this might be my favorite variation of this car. This is clean and sweet and nice. Five spoke wheels on it. That is a very nice casting. I like that very much. And, uh, for number 187, 17 Audi RS6 Avante in British Racing Green. Nice detailed tampo on the front end. Not much on the top. Detailed rear end. Nothing on the side, but there it is. Okay, so I'm caught up on my collection of the 2023s for this year. I pack these up, and of course I will do a video on all of it later but now I'm happy to get this done so I can go on to uh, making videos about older stuff and show you all the cool things I have in my collection all right this is Chuck saying happy hot wheeling everyone bye for now